Hi everyone. My name is Dev Manikam. I'm part of the Women in APIs community and I'm proud to be here. There is an aspect of whether it's uh, all facets of API design, strategy and execution. And if you have a diverse team, um, that just opens more conversations for innovative ideas. It gives you a perspective that you wouldn't have thought of before. I've been fortunate to be part of a lot of uh, Fortune 500 companies to startups and most recently I am the director of worldwide portfolio services marketing as well as product management and in this role I've been fortunate to have an opportunity to lead a team of 20 people across the globe so literally North America to EMEA to Latin America to Asia Pacific and then also be part of the women in APIs that is driving some of that change in the API community. And one of my first projects um, as the product marketing manager for API management in Dalbumi was to help the sales team understand what APIs are. So I haven't really worked on APIs per se, but translating what APIs mean to the business and how do sellers and sales force understand uh, to tell that story to customers. Why should customers uh, leverage APIs? So this opportunity to present that, um, present APIs was, I think, eye-opening for me itself because I come from a technology background and I took APIs for granted. I took a restaurant analogy that I saw online and I was like, yes, I love food. Everybody loves food. This is the best way we can connect and get them to understand what an API is. So we took that analogy and said, think about the menu. That's your API. The order that you're placing with the server, that's your API call and the food that you're getting back from the kitchen and the restaurant, that's your response. That's in a nutshell what an API is. So I, I loved kind of taking the, the technical aspects of it and simplifying it such that anybody could understand. When I think about some of the trends in the API space, I think a big one that we are seeing is how APIs are consumed and how they're designed. We starting to ask questions on what is the right question to ask when we think about inclusivity. As an API designer, are you asking questions on who's going to consume this information and are we presenting it in the right way? So I think there's a big shift that will be happening or it's already happening in the API industry today. When I think about some of the barriers that we have today, I think APIs are still undervalued. I don't I don't think we do a good job of making sure every organization in the world is leveraging it. Some of it is technology challenges, some of it is business challenges. And API today is still a technology term, right? If I ask, go into a business meeting and ask, can anybody say what does API stand for? Don't know what the answer will be, but I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be a hundred percent. Oh, let me tell you what API is, right? We have a technology term that hasn't penetrated through the broader industries. The Women in APIs community, I came across maybe a year ago. I joined the community to give back. I had an opportunity to be part of the Get Speaking program. And I learned a lot about self-confidence. How do we help make sure that um, women have a stake in the conversations that we're having with APIs? whether it is about API design or whether it's about implementation or even all the way thinking about the different personas that we have within APIs, whether it's the API uh, producer or the consumer. And so I wanted to give back to the community and uh, being a woman myself, I, I knew about some of the challenges that we have in speaking opportunities, things like that, where we will always step back and t make sure that we are 100, 200% uh, confident about what we're doing or that we think we're an expert for us to go share our voice. When I think about young women, whether you're joining the API industry or the technology industry, we always doubt ourselves and we are like, oh, is what, I'm, is what I have to share important enough? Is it valuable enough, right? So my, my advice to you and something that I've learned over my career is don't be afraid to challenge the status quo.